Well, the ESFA is the national governing body of schools football in this country, and we have a uh, headquarters in Stafford where we have a full-time staff, uh, but across the country we have uh, thousands of volunteers in schools and districts and counties who deliver the programme of schools football that we look after. Well, you know, the English Schools FA has been going for a long while. It's uh, now 115 years old and it's constantly evolved over those 115 years. And I suppose quite simply what we try and do is to enhance the educational experience that young people can enjoy through schools football. What we're working on at the moment is trying to expand the uh, opportunities for youngsters to play representative football, that's at district and county levels. And we're also um, expanding our, our girls programme because that's important to us and we're trying to ensure that over the course of the next few years we can pretty much replicate what we do for boys and offer the same thing for girls. Every youngster will have gone through a school in, in this country and um, we have a pretty extensive programme of inter-school competitions at national level. Uh, we get a lot of support through our PlayStation sponsorship and so often there are high profile players who come along perhaps as part of that to a tie of the round that we run and then they go on of course and make their, their careers accordingly. It's equally important of course that they see those players as good role models. You know, not just as good role models on the field of play, but also good role models as people, because as educationalists, we're about uh, developing young people, not just developing footballers. Well, do you know, they're fantastic events, and uh, particularly our, uh, our national finals, we, we always have those at a, a good venue, premiership venue. Uh, recently, we've used Stoke City, West Bromwich Albion, and so forth. Uh, terrific atmosphere on the day, a succession of five finals on each of three days, so 15 finals in three days, uh, brilliant to watch. And I think the most um, pleasing thing for us is to see so many young people having the opportunity to, to enjoy themselves.